Hey guys, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. Um, jumping on here today to reveal um, the altered bottle caps for um, the Holy Swappers Group 1. Now, um, originally uh, this was meant to be done by Alicia, but due to circumstances, um, she hasn't received, you know, some of her bottle caps and she's sort of um, been held up in the Tel Aviv. So until she gets back home, you know, to the USA, we sort of, um, yeah, we, we, she's not going to see her bottle caps yet. So um, in our group, we have, um, yeah, Alicia, we have Orlando, Jellybean Junction, Crafting Con Cruise, and Kayla, Crafty Pen Pal Mama. So I'm here today to show you what I've received in our group one. We were all meant to do an altered um, bottle cap. So um, every two months, one of us is going to be picking a, um, like a project that each one of us in the group has to create and they have to be you know the same for everybody so for example um, this project that Alicia chose was an altered bottle cap so we were meant to send out an altered bottle cap that is the same to um, everybody that's in our group so firstly Alicia has sent me quite a few bottle caps, altered ones, because she couldn't decide. So I will um, show her bottle caps first. And I sort of, I wasn't sure the other day when I received her package whether that's what this was because I almost showed her altered bottle caps not knowing that that's what it was for because she tends to um, send me a lot of lovely gifts sometimes as a surprise so it looks like in here she has sent all kinds of wonderful um bottle caps which i'm really excited to see it looks like she's been very busy so um it's it came in this gorgeous like packaging with the gold it's like a pretty pink gemstone there so let's see what's in this one oh, how cute is this guys she has made a gold um like a badge like an enamel pin altered bottle cap how pretty is that and I'm just trying to see, that looks like it's got a few little like cute pumpkins and maybe a creepy, I think it's like a witch holding a pumpkin. I'm just, sorry, trying not to show you some glare, but how like clever is that? And I love that she used these sort of like really glittery sort of um, adhesive domes that you pop on top and it's a beautiful gold one I'm pretty sure this one she may have reused from you know like a beverage and but I'm not too sure because you can buy these a lot of us have bought actually she may have purchased these ones because I see more here and they're like Halloween like themed, aren't they cool? They're like little like altered bottle cap prize ribbons almost. I just love those. Aren't they gorgeous? So many different ways of, you know, altering a bottle cap, guys. Like, this is so clever. And look at how she's packaged up this one treat you are loved and it's got a beautiful um it's almost like you know how you do recycled paper like paper mache when you get a whole heap of um paper and you stick it together that's what this stuff reminds me of and then it's like and then she stamped 
stamped onto this sort of really thick recycled cardstock. So um, just trying to see where I can get into this one. I love these little bags too. They are so pretty. I'm not too sure what they say. Um, hopefully Alicia can inform us on maybe she might know what the, what that um what that means. I'm trying not to I didn't want to wreck it but I don't know how else to get into this one unfortunately. And it's, she's used some old packaging from a collection, which is really handy as well. Looks like she's used an old Rosie Studio package. Look at that. How great is that, guys? That is so pretty. Like, I love that she's done Halloween altered bottle caps. I think that's really fun. You know, coming up to Halloween, that's then showing us some projects that we could do for when we're wanting to do Halloween mail. So she's made like this giant sort of crepe paper rosette and she's popped some um, like glitter onto that. I don't know if she's used glitter glue or maybe some sort of a like a distress or like a, a glitter spray, I should say. And then she's got a black doily and then she's made another one of these cute little almost like looking prize ribbon type bottle caps with a spider in the middle and then she's included this big sort of like rubber um, toy spider which she's then attached to it and she spray painted it with gold paint or I should say like a distress sort of gold distress spray and that looks really good so clever so and then she's got another one in here in this cute little um, sort of hessian bag if I can get it out um, I've got it all knotted up. Let's see if I can squeeze it out. Okay, so then she has done this other little pretty pink one, and she's made almost like a little green, um, like tassel and placed it on the back there so it's then sort of hanging down like that and then there's a pretty pink bow on top and then she's placed a sticker on there that says wishes how pretty is that so many different ideas so there's Alicia's um, Wagman 510's altered bottle cap which is great. So next we have um, Jelly Bean. So we'll see what's in hers. And she's popped hers in a pretty pink like envelope. And look at this gorgeous little card that she's made how beautiful is that it's in pretty pastel pink there's a cute little like word sentiment there a couple of little pearls she's placed down this beautiful I'm pretty sure she's die cut this out herself this doily and look at this butterfly it's almost like a um like she's used some vellum to make to create this butterfly and it's so pretty and then there's a bow die cut as well that there that she's placed down what a gorgeous card 
Oh my gosh, how beautiful is this? <laughs> I think we've all made similar sort of things when it comes to our bottle caps. I'll let you know at the end of the video. But um, basically my bottle cap, which you can um, find the sneak peek um, <coughs> video on a couple of my previous videos from back, they... I did also like a charm sort of style altered bottle cap. This is just, wow, this is so pretty, Jelly Bean. So pretty. Look at that. Handcrafted just for you by Janice Moore, Jelly Bean. Take that out of the little package there so we can have a really good look. But this looks stunning. Wow. Oh, this is so pretty. So she's got one of those little, um, you know, so you can attach this to something. It's kind of like a charm. There's so many layers to this. It's beautiful. So she's used kind of like a gold. It's a really thick gold sort of jewelry jewelry piece I don't know if you can see that there so there's gold in the back then there's this beautiful sort of like lace doily placed on top of that and then her altered bottle cap it's like a pastel pink sort of color and she's added these tiny little pink beads all the way around and then there's this photo of this like vintage girl inside that is so beautiful and then she's added this pretty little um almost like little diamond um chain dangly thing on the bottom there as well you guys can see it's like a bow and then there's this little look charm just here and it just says made with love that is so pretty. It's so exciting to see what everybody has made because everything's going to be so different, like in our own way of how we make things, but they're also going to be quite similar as well in that we sort of have the same sort of ideas of what to do with things. So a lot of, um, a lot of creative ladies in this group and... Yeah, this is just, that's beautiful. So that one there is from Jelly Bean. So next um, we have Orlando's Altered Bottle Cap. So, oh my gosh, look at this, guys. How cool is this? It's like steampunk I love it all right let's have a look in here because it looks like there's something else as well and she may not want me you know <laughs> reading her note on camera so I'll just see what her note says um Okay, so she's hosting Swap 2, Orlando is, so um, she's just included, I guess, like a sneak peek of what Swap 2's going to be, and so I'm not going to, to show you that, so, and she's also included some pretty, um, pretty trim, which was really kind of her, thank you for that, so this is her altered bottle cap and she's done it on a really big like tag like look at that holy swappers swap one group one altered bottle bottle cap or lander and then she's popped her um her details on there for you guys and she has done quite a few different bottle caps on this cute little um little tag here that she's made and I just love that tag that's so cute 
it's very um very vintage like like she's um, maybe used some distress inks or some tea to um you know give it that sort of old vintage yellow sort of look and she's used a gorgeous sort of die cut which like I said looks like a steam steampunk sort of style with all the gears and the yeah it looks really good and she's even incorporated a few gears into each bottle cap that she's altered so this one she's placed down a bit of um, like burlap and then she's added a couple of little gears and then she's got some black bottle caps and she's popped like an image inside and then placed on top of that another little little gear And I just love the style. It's so different. Like I said, everyone's doing sort of similar things, but in their own style, like their own creative way. And I just love that. Like, how cute is this cat image here in this one? Like a cat's wearing like a a top hat with, you know, like it's um, steampunk goggles and, and floral pieces on there. I think that's really cute. And then it's got a couple of little chains which she's popped on there and included. It's sort of like a little dangly, like a little dangly um, little gear piece there as well on, with the chain. And I just think that's, and the colours too. I love the colours that she's used. So pretty. And then we've got this one over here as well, which has like a shoe, a shoe on the inside. A little sort of like resin flower which she's glued down there and these cute little like uh, blue sort of turquoise um, little dangly charms so one that she's made there with some pretty beads and then this is like a little um, oh dear sorry one of her charms has come off I'll attach that back on in a sec um, this cute little like key which also looks like a vintage sort of turquoise key so another like gorgeous project so exciting seeing everyone's you know all their different things and so there next we have crafting con cruise her altered bottle cap so see what's in here it's cute little packaging and pretty pink <laughs> I did basically all of mine all the same for, but um, maybe um, one of the other ladies might be um, showing their altered bottle caps maybe on their channels soon but I'll link everyone's channels down below and you can go have a look um, at what these ladies, you know, because they've got also their sneak peeks as well. So let me just check this first. So it says enjoy. So this is from Crafting Con Cruise. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What is that? There's a few little, oh, that is so clever. So what Cruz has done, by the looks of it, and this is a guess because I haven't um, opened the first package yet, but to me it looks like she has incorporated a whole heap of little bits and pieces so we can then make our own um, altered bottle cap. Isn't that a great idea? And by the looks of it, these colours are so beautiful. And I love the tissue paper that she's used to wrap. She's added some Maggie Holmes touches. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, how beautiful is that packaging, Cruise? That is so pretty. So she's 
added like some chawl around one of these cute little um like clear sort of plastic um pillow pockets and she's die cut out on this beautiful pink paper like this little hello um word and she's obviously stamped that or um or wrote that herself i'm not too sure so but she can let us know and then she's added a few pretty little like pink flowers and butterflies and there's a pretty little bow on the side there as well that is some gorgeous packaging so i love that and inside is her altered bottle cap which wow looks so beautiful okay so cruise oh that is stunning she has created another like um similar to what alicia did it's like a a brooch she has made her own brooch with an altered bottle cap so she has glued down um like the pin piece onto the back of that bottle cap she's used a white bottle cap and she's punched a few holes in there and added these cute little like dangly um little bead charms onto that which she has included also in the package so everyone can make make their own like replicate their own which is a great idea and she's popped like a butterfly image on the inside and popped down one of those um clear adhesive domes to seal it in and then i think using some like little tiny blue gem sort of um, rhinestones she has then popped them also down onto the bottle cap there isn't that beautiful and i love how she's placed it onto this die cut um piece here sort of like scalloped so there we go guys there's all our um, bottle cap entries that's all i've received um for now we are missing one hopefully that arrives and i'll be able to share that soon with you guys but um yeah i had to get this this video up and going you know and yeah unfortunately i don't think the other one made its way in time so um yeah we have crafting con cruises beautiful brooch here um i'll have to fix fix this um this gorgeous one sorry um but yeah we've got our gorgeous sort of three-piece steampunk one from um, the creative Orlando. I'll just pop them all to the side here so you guys can still see them. We have beautiful um, Jelly Beans handmade card with her gorgeous um, handmade charm sort of tassel keyring piece here that is gorgeous and then we have Alicia's gorgeous sort of almost Halloween style altered bottle caps so there we go guys so many wonderful um, altered bottle cap entries they are just amazing and i can't wait to see you know what everyone does next in in the next group which will you know be in a couple of months time so stay tuned for that and um yeah i'll link everyone's details below for if you want to go and you know follow our journey guys and yeah leave leave me a comment subscribe hit the like button and um 
thank you ladies for all your wonderful altered bottle caps and thanks for watching have a wonderful day bye